Well, had the terror plot actually made it to the testing phase, a Bay Area company says it has the technology that would have stopped it. NBC 11's George Kitayama is live in Santa Clara to show us. George? Ellen, this company, RapidScan Systems, says things would have been a lot different last week had their anti-terror machines been in place at all the airports. And today, this company showed us what these machines could do. Remember these chaotic scenes from last week? People dumping out water and other liquids into containers? Santa Clara-based RapidScan Systems says this whole thing could have been avoided if every airport had a liquid detection device. This gives the security screeners at the airport the tool that they need to be able to say, is this a bottle of wine or is this something I have to be worried about? The company shows us how its liquid detection device works. Liquid fertilizer in a wine bottle is placed into a drawer. Set of detectors captures that information, processes it, and automatically makes a decision as to whether or not there's a mix of elements that's a threat or not and gives you either a red light or a green light. This is a book with a simulated explosive put in here. It's a mix of, mix of elements that has the same composition as C4, but hidden inside of a book that looks very similar to uh, our other employee handbooks. And it can be placed in here to demonstrate that this system works on more than just bottles of liquid explosives. In its Southern California office, RapidScan showed us another anti-terror device, the Secure 1000 Body Scan. The energy level is such that it's very, very low power. It's non-absorbing radiation, which means the radiation can penetrate a person's clothing but not the person's body or skin. The person's image is reflected onto a series of sensors and then created on a screen. We can detect non-traditional, ceramic-based knives, carbon fiber-based knives, glass-based knives, that which will typically not be detected via a traditional metal detector. Now that body scan machine is in prototype form right now, and that machine and the liquid detection device come with the price. That body scan machine alone is $300,000. We're live in Santa Clara, George Kitayama, NBC 11 News. New tonight on